Our second troop of the day is heading down to Tucson to go for the Tucson Roadrunners hockey game tonight. They're wearing Imperial jerseys. We'll take you along as much as we can. And as always, we'll see you on the dark side. Somebody wants to raid the Star Wars books collection at the bookstore. He finished the last of his book reports on the drive down here. Now he gets to hand them in and get $10 in free books. Let's go see what Star Wars books they have, right bud? Yeah. You haven't raided this collection yet. No, I haven't. If we've they got... have any Star Wars books. And we have our list of ones you're looking for. These aren't the books you're looking for. That was the book I was looking for. Well, I found it. <laughs> this is the car charger I've been looking for. Eli at Bookman's was really helpful in helping us find this. Thank you, Eli. They've got a Whole Foods here and the Bookman's all in one plaza. We can live here. Nah. Okay, so admittedly, I've not been a huge fan of Tucson, probably because, huh, well, my experience with going to Tucson was when I worked at the funeral home, and I was always at the medical examiner's office, and then I would leave. And anytime else we've come down has been for con or a funeral. So we're seeing other parts of Tucson we did not know existed before, so it's really cool. Yeah, that's really cool to have Bookman's, Zia, and Whole Foods in one place. You turned in your book reports. Yeah. What did you get? Uh, you got $10 store credit, right? Yeah, and I got three Star Wars books. Hello. You raided their stash, didn't you? Yep. Well, He's trying to collect all of the Star Wars books because he wants to read the entire Star Wars universe. He's getting really close to getting all the books and the bookshelf is really full and they're in order too, the way to read them. I know, right? And not even a quarter of them are my books. Most of them are mine. Yes. This is what happens when you raise a reader who loves Star Wars he could probably go on to a Star Wars Jeopardy show with the knowledge that he has. You're excited by this, aren't you? Yeah. More Star Wars books! <coughs> oh my gosh, we made a good choice. Too, you're adorable. Where have you been all my life? Well, we went to two out of three bookmans in Tucson. How many Star Wars books did you find today? Eight. Eight? That's a lot to add your, to your collection. Not as much as some other times. True. One time I think I walked away with like 17. We had to get a cart for you. There were so many books. Three of them were free today because you read books. Well, not necessarily free. We had to pay a dollar. Okay, we had to pay one dollar. You only had to pay a dollar for three of those books today. That was pretty cool. All right, now that we've raided the bookstore, there's still some more Star Wars books left. So if you're in Tucson, don't worry, we didn't take them all. Only eight, only. Now we get to head to the hockey game. Ice time, here we come. Yes! I love hockey. Me too. Absolutely love it. When you had a Star Wars night, Turn it makes right it even better. Broadway Boulevard. It's my favorite sport. We are currently in Tucson. We are finding that we can actually live here. There's a lot of cool stuff here. That's all nearby. Duh. Where has this part of Tucson been before? I think it's always Seriously. Been here. Yeah, it's always been here, I think. 
I was never routed this way to go. Oh my gosh. A lot of the stores we shop at are here. We could possibly live here. I want to live here. Yeah. I can't believe I'm saying that because I graduated from ASU. And I am in... Petco. Toys R Us. I'm not in Petco. Toys R Us. Yeah, Toys R Us, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh. Spa. No, I'm... I'm Double I'm tree. going undercover. No, I'm going to be a proud ASU yeah. alumni. Who yeah, cares if it's U of A town down here? Yeah, Williams Boulevard. Hey. We found Williams Boulevard. It's it's Target. It's Target. Area. We're moving here. Oh, oh wait, we have a Target near us. We're good. Oh, man. Chili's. Macaroni grill. I'm cold. Well, you get the tour of the restaurants. Oh. Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble right behind. Barnes and Noble. Let's get this straight. Within five miles, we have two miles. Turn right into Stewart Avenue. Yes. That's good stuff. Yep. Yeah. It's under my name. RTD2 is here. I'm so excited. This is so cool. I mean, he's a, kind of a beast, though. He is kind of a beast, but this is not. A, this is a good system, you know. I mean, one person can do it. That's right. the best part, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, because that would be hard to have to always rely upon help. Whoa. Wow. There you go. That is so cool. I'll see you later.
went to the hockey game. We didn't have a chance to talk about it afterward. It ended up being a 19 hour day for us. By the time we had both troops completed, ate dinner and drove home. It was a very late day. We were tired and there was no way I was filming anything after the end of that day. Somebody got to go on the ice and not just go on the ice, but escort Darth Vader onto the ice. They needed a character who didn't have a bucket on and dark side. There were only two. One is an adult who still has a broken arm and the other is a 14 year old. Guess who got to go on the ice and escort Darth Vader? The 14 year old. Yeah, that was a really cool moment. Were you nervous at all? No. Why? It was fun. Yeah, you had fun? You did an excellent job escorting Darth Vader. I didn't get to see any of it. I was upstairs costuming. And Patrick took him downstairs to take care of that. That must have been an amazing moment to do that. Yeah. I watched the video. I was very proud of you. You took good care of Darth Vader. He's fun to be around, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. We had an amazing time at the hockey game. We always have an amazing time when we troop. Well, not always. That is the first time I've ever seen the Tucson Roadrunners play. It was a fun game. Not just because it was Star Wars night. I like their arena. It's not a full arena. And they have one screen far different than the NHL one that we've been to with the Arizona Coyotes. I really like the feel of it. You, it feels like you get closer to the ice too. Much smaller arena and it just, I don't know. I like the way they did it. It was pretty cool. We got to take pictures with the Roadrunner too. It was awesome. But you know what I didn't get to do? I didn't stand out there with R2 and take pictures with R2. Hello, Jawa, R2-D2. I should have taken pictures with him. It's probably because I saw him loaded off the truck, saw him go up the ramp. It was exciting to do and see him. Oh, he raced around our dressing room while we were getting ready. And after all that, yeah, I took a picture with, you took my picture in there. Yeah. And after all that, I guess I was like, well, I got my opportunity with R2. I don't always get to see R2-D2 by myself. I always have to share him with others. So that was an exciting moment. We hope you had a very Merry Christmas and we're wishing you a Happy New Year. Thank you for coming along the journey with us and being part of our family. This is Wendy. And William. And I'm Xander. With, with Plugged In, in family. family. It's about it. Oh, I hiccuped. We'll see you on the dark side now. Someone's in the shot. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Are we there yet? Yes, we are. How many did you get total? Eight. Eight more for his collection. You're slacking. You get like 15, 20 at a time. They didn't have any more. Well, they did, but they're on my Christmas list. How many Star Wars mile, books did you find? Turn right oh, wait, I'm Broadway getting directions. Uh, not as much as. Not just, I can't speak. What? I don't hear that. Not as, 